Hello and welcome back. So today I want to look at how the step command can be used together with the table function to sweep through multiple parameters at the same time. So basically you can create sets of multiple parameters and step them at the same time without necessarily creating every single intercombination. So to strictly sweep through certain predefined sets. So if you're curious about how this can be done and much more, then keep watching. So let's start things off by looking at what the table function does. So we can find it under the dot param statement as one of the available functions. And here we can see that the table will interpolate a value for x based on the lookup table given as a set of pairs. So one way to use this function is in a statement that looks something like this. To have a parameter whose value will be defined by the table function based on another input value that is then looked for in this lookup table. So to have lookup values and output values. And these come in pairs. So the table will have an odd number of parameters, the first being this input x, and then we will have pairs of lookup values and output values. So one way to use this would look something like this. So what I have here is a very basic example with three voltage sources. We have our first input parameter n, which is stepped going from one to three in steps of one. So just to quickly see what this step statement does, we can look at its output. So we get a one value, a two and a three. So nothing special until here. But then for these other two sources, I'm using the table function to give a value to x and y, so the values of these sources, based on a lookup table. So now the input parameter of the table is n, so the one that we're stepping from 1 to 3 in steps of 1. And then I have my pairs neatly arranged so that they're a bit more visible. So LTSpice doesn't care how many spaces you leave in between. So we have our first lookup value 1, which will output a value of 3.5 for x, 6 for y. Then we have a value of 2, which will output a value of 5 and 0. And then we have a lookup value of 3, which will output a value of 7 for x and 10 for y. So if we rerun the simulation again, look at the output values for x and go through them. So the first value, when n was 1, in the lookup table, we should be getting a value of 3.5. And then with the cursor, we get our 3.5 value. So now if I go through the values, the second value, the one in the middle is five, again, exactly as with our table. And then the last one is seven, as we previously defined. And at the same time, when we had these values, if we look at the y output, so let's check this thing, our first value, the one on top. So this is for the third run, actually, where we get an output value of 10. So the third value for the y parameter. Now, at this point, this doesn't seem very interesting. I, I sweep some values for some voltage sources. But now let's look at some more concrete examples of how this thing can be used in actual circuit simulation and design. Now, one example can be created around the basic RC filter. So what I have here is the filter and I have three sets of parameters. So one kilo ohm with 4.7 nano, two and 2.2 nano and 4.7 kilo and one nano. And if we run this thing and look at the output, so this is an AC simulation, not a transient, we can see our corner frequency being roughly in exactly the same place for all three combinations. So even though the components are different, we still get similar frequency response, but we can see that we have different currents going through the circuit. So the circuit presents a different impedance depending on what components are used. Now, a slightly more complex example can be built around compensation networks. So what I have here is the basic test fixture for the LT1938, and I added a type three compensation. So we have also this extra capacitor. And then I have three parameters for which I have three sets of values. So the first set is the default. So the one that the simulation came with, and then I have one with some random values and then another set. And of course, to see the transient response, I added this pulse source to get a certain current variation. So now we can look at the output. And this is a simulation that takes a while. 
and well we can see in green the first set so the default values which work pretty well in blue the second set which works horribly and then in red slightly worse than the first so one quite common use case would be to sweep this sort of sets of parameters now it's important to mention that it doesn't really matter how many parameters are in a set so it can be two three ten doesn't matter LT spice doesn't care about this but you can still take advantage of using multiple step parameters to have intercombinations. And to illustrate that, I created this example. So it's still the same power supply with the compensation. I have only two sets of values this time. But at the same time, I also have another step statement in which I'm varying the input and the load. So we have a certain input voltage and a certain load, and then at a different input voltage, a different load. And then these two sets will be interlinked with the bottom set. So we will have two steps from the supply and load, two steps from the compensation, total of four steps. So I can already see here on the bottom that there will be four steps and now we just gotta wait for the simulator to finish. But the important thing is that you can set up your simulation with various input values, various combinations, various sets, and then just let it work. I mean, it will take a while for all the simulations to get done, but at least you'll not have to sit next to the computer while it's doing that. So in the end, we can see that we have circuit working correctly in one of the combinations and not so correctly in the other. Here on the bottom, we're in the case in which n was 1, m was 1. So if we just zoom into the values, while well, we had the small input voltage, high load, and then the default compensation. And if we just check, the other compensation was used, so the small input voltage and load is the thing that's causing the problem. So I didn't check, but I think I added too large of a load to the circuit. But that doesn't matter. Point is, you can use the table function together with the dot step statement to create sets of values that you can sweep through. And you can also use multiple step statements to get various intercombinations. And all in all, Hope you got some useful information out of this, leave your thoughts in the comments, thank you for watching, make sure to subscribe to be up to date with all my latest videos, and see you next time, bye bye.